Jay, it's awesome, as always. Again. Yeah, I'm trying to channel my inner Mark Lettieri there, and every time I, I was thinking about trying to be funky, I just felt him looking at me in a, in a disapproving manner. <laughs> <laughs> like, just sitting in the back of the room, like, in a trench coat um, and a cigarette. Just, arms folded. We were playing a little funk. We were playing yeah, a little yeah, funk. Yeah. And you'll notice, as usual, uh, he's playing a Strat. Mm. And as usual, I guess I'm playing a Tully. And I see, I'm kind of convinced that the Tully is, like, way, way better than a Strat. The best guitar in the world. Best, well, it is. The best yeah, I think the Strat's the best guitar it, in the world ever. So I'm going to try to convince you <laughs> okay. that my guitar is better yeah. than your guitar. You can try to convince me okay. why your guitar is better, right? So um, who wants to? How how do we do this? Be like Ching Chang Push Who Goes First or something like that. Okay, how does that work? It's like it's like rock paper scissors. Yeah, yeah. All right. So there we go. One two three go. Well, okay, yeah, I guess. Yeah. I guess I, I, I'm rocking my beat scissors. So. I am going to tell you, number one, uh, why I think Atelier is better strat. One, uh, this thing is going to stay in tune when you break a string. Because, now I know, like a lot of guys, oh, you could just make it flat on the body. No, on this one. Not, not, you know, not the floating thing. But you know what? If you're going to have a strat, why are you doing that? The fun of the strats was, 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 was. And also, even if you do make it, you know, flat to the body, you're still going to get a little bit of that back pressure, which yeah. is going to pull those strings in a yeah. different direction. Whereas if I break a string on a telly when I'm playing live, it I'm fine. Whereas okay. if you do, you're wrecked. Uh, Your okay. life is wrecked. If you're going stock. That's that's one one nil. One zero. One you, zero. One up. Okay. Uh, I'm going to say with a strat, okay. you can do this. Yeah, that's pretty cool. At the end of the show. Yes, you can. <laughs> That's what you could do. You know, I can't do that. That's true. <laughs> There's no obvious handle, is there? I mean, you could do this, but I think... Well, I could, maybe I could hold it by the in input jack yeah. and just kind of just yeah. kind of wave it at the people. And you're like, okay, you know what? That is actually pretty badass. I'm going to have to give you that. And as an, as oh. it's also, you can also, if you've got thin legs, you could hook it over your leg like that. As a okay, what? Well, no one has legs like no, that, they though. Don't. It's like Gumby. I think, I, I think I just have more points taken away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so you're, you're plus one minus point zero zero. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I like the fact, and maybe this could be a, a con for you, I don't know, but I like the fact that Atelier neck pickup sounds nothing like Atelier. They're very, very different. We got something that's really warm and really compressed, something really bitey and in your face, and super like that. This is the yeah, best yeah, lead yeah. pup. And then because they're so completely different, when you go in the in-between position, it doesn't quack, but it funks in a wonderful way. And, it, and it's a wonderful kind of like middle ground for any kind of rhythm guitar playing that doesn't stick out in the mix too much. Yes, uh, I agree with you. What I, what I think, where I think the Strat scores is that it sits out even more. So in the middle yeah. position here, it's still really direct sounding. Give us a, give us a, 
Yes, yeah. Is that if you go to straight I do, position? Yeah, yeah. That's the, that's in between there. It's quite right. hollow sound. Yeah, it's, it is quite hollow. This one, I think this one has kind of a stratier, a stratier neck pickup. If you get like one of those telly, telly neck pickups, it's really even yeah. more scooped up. Whereas the that is scoop and tell you, it's, it sounds super scoopy that guitar. Maybe it's the uh, the little thin line Could thing be. going on over there. Um, the strat obviously in position two and four is just instant. Further. That's just, yeah, see, uh, something moved. I just, don't know it. <laughs> see, I could do that. I just, just I could. I could. <laughs> <laughs> but see, that's true. You do that, that beautiful glassy kind of thing with the, with the strat which is wonderful uh but for me you know there's that that telly that telly that is something that is so telly it could only be a telly. it could only be a telly See? and it's so funny that you like that in between strat thing is just all about just shimmery yeah, like yeah, all yeah, the yeah. feels and then this is like the the bridge breaking on the telly is literally just getting kicked in the face repeatedly. It could only be a telly. Can, <laughs> so if we do that on this, it just doesn't work as well. Yeah, it, it it's it's a good sound, it's just not but the same just thing not that. Ever. It has that, you know. Like it may, it may it's, I think it's because of the, it's it's also you have a. It's just such a solid amount of downward yeah, yeah, pressure. Everything's yeah. so connected. So I guess it's just like one kind of cohesive unit. So it resonates in a certain way. And when you hit that note, it's just the whole, you know, like guitar is just going like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah when you get it. So I do, I think that, I think that's a good point okay. on side telly. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mess things up now. Okay. I'm gonna do this quickly. I'm gonna try and do this quickly. Jay will have just done an edit of me tuning. Tune, tune. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna let the viewer sit in that moment. <laughs> tuning the guitar. I mean, if it was so, I'll take a hit here for the floating yeah. bridge. It makes tuning down to E flat quickly impossible with with the floating bridge. But, but we're almost there now. Mm -hmm. the, the reason I love strats is neck pickup in E flat. It becomes a totally different. <laughs> Pretty much sounds like every album anyone ever listened to growing up with a guitar in it, doesn't it? Yeah. It's such an iconic sound. I mean, it, you know, it comes from Stevie Ray, it comes from Jimmy, it comes from Philip Sace, it comes from all those guys who've appropriated that that world. And with Gain, when you when you hair it up, the Strat just becomes this sledgehammer of a guitar mm -hmm. that it simply isn't in standard tuning when you're doing, you know, when you're trying to. <laughs> When you're, when you're being John Mayer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, you know, I, it, the neck pickup of a telly doesn't do that, but you can actually, you know, jazz it up. Like a, you know, you don't need to buy that less, you know, yeah, less Paul yeah, or the yeah. uh, not less Paul, but 175 or something yeah. like that. You actually have that rounded, you know. Sp it has it, it, there's there's a roundness to the neck pickup. There's a smoothness to the pickup, uh, which is great for 
those guys that are looking for that other sound. And it does get plinky and twangy when you move it to the middle position and it gets bitey and bright. It's just like having three <laughs> very, very different guitars at your disposal where I'm gonna go diss your guitar. Come on then. Yeah, you really you have, you have your two in-between positions. One's just a warmer sound <laughs> version of the other. No one's using the middle pickup, okay? The bridge pickup is eh, okay, right? And then the neck pickup is absolutely heaven. So yeah, 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 that's, yeah, yeah. That, that's what, uh, for this one, you have three, and each each of three, it's like I I own three guitars. Like I, I'm gonna I, I will concede a part there because though each of those positions on a telly you can hear on a million records. Yes, all the stack stuff, all the soul stuff. You can hear that it's a telly. You can hear that a lot. Of that rhythm stuff's played on the mid on the mid position. And I I, I agree with you on the jazz thing. You know, Grant, yeah. I think Grant Green played a telly for a while. Yeah, yeah exactly. Mm-hmm. Doesn't just doesn't seem to work on a Strat in the same way. It's on the yeah. the There's a very specific Strat jazz sound. Yeah, though. that. The, It's still, even with it still the sounds like a strat. It's still yeah, a strat, yeah. yeah. I'm not playing jazz either, but anyway. Yeah, it's just well, not the same. Now we talked about all the things we like about you know you love this about the strat, the things I love about Telly. What do you hate about tell uh, a strat? And I'll tell you what I hate about telly. things that bug you. That for some reason is just something we put up with because we love the guitar so much. The problem with the strat and this plays into the telly thing is you sound like everybody else. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like everyone who's ever picked up the strat. Yeah, yeah. because whether it, all those people I talked about earlier who are awesome players and I love them dearly, the minute you play blues on a strat in E flat, you are SLP. Mm. And the minute, the minute you go. Or if you play, you hear it. You you hear it immediately. You are, yeah. and I think that I think a lot of the strap players, or you know, or you know, um, I know I'm playing the licks, but the sound is so evocative mm-hmm. of of those classic players, and you're immediately one of those. I think the telly. I do think the telly has this. When you play a telly, you are you. Yes. Yeah. In in a way that you're not with a well, strap. It's just amazing that you know, like the Stairway to Heaven solo yeah. is played on a, a bridge position of a telly. Yeah. The same way a Brad Paisley solo is played yeah. on the bridge position of a telly. And they, they, you know, that tone is so it's so different, right? Yeah, completely. What do you hate yeah. about tellys? Oh gosh, so much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, there's a couple things I hate about tellys. One, uh, not all tellys. It's, it's 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 particularly the tellys that everyone wants. My favorite kind of telly is the ones with the the, the strings go through. Oh here. yeah, like remember like the, the fifth? Style. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Because the angle, the downward pressure on here, a lot of people love it because you get a little bit more sustain. But you. If, if anyone's been in a room with me for more than 20 minutes, they know I have a very vicious attack. Mm. And that angle, that downward angle here, it eats strings for breakfast. Uh, eats okay. strings. I probably break a string every show wow. on, on a telly uh, uh, when I play a, a hardtail telly like this. It sounds amazing. It has this wonderful sustain and this wonderful feel. But because of the, the, the manner of my percussive attack and everything like that, it just can't handle it. But like a Strat... When I when I uh, play a strat, if I give it the pop, that bridge helps me out. It springs up yeah, a little yeah. bit, and it, it's it, a little give. It, it, it's a little bit like almost like a shock on like on a car, and that's why uh, most people that watch my page, I'm always using Bigsby tellies, just right. because that little extra spring helps me do it. But huh. that thing right over here uh, is is one of the oh drives me absolutely nuts. Yeah, and I also think that the volume position, the volume. Uh, uh, knob on a strat makes so much more sense. It's fun. It depends it's like, what you're growing up with, doesn't it? Because for me, is if I play a guitar that doesn't have a volume knob there, if I, when yeah. I play my 335, sometimes I'm playing and I'm like trying to go for the pickup switch. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Which isn't there. So it's, I think it's just what you get, what you get used to. But mm-hmm. I, I, for me, yes, I agree because everything you can, it's you can right just, there, you can, right there, yeah. you can reach. Um, another thing I hate about strats, they don't sound good quiet. Yeah, yeah. They sound weak, right? Mm-hmm. And I think this is why a lot of guys um, out there like humbucker guitars, Les Pauls, 335s, or more modern guitars, Ibanez guitars, or tellies for that matter, because they sound more powerful at low volume. And, you know, when you're just plinking away on your position two there. Mm-hmm. 
it can sound really weak. Mm. But when you're playing loud, for me, that's when the sledgehammer comes back and you get all that nuance back, but at loud volume. So it no longer sounds weak. It just sounds nuanced and huge. Mm. Whereas because I'm not a telly player, I can run out on a telly and it's, I don't, I, I've kind of exceeded its... <laughs> it's, it's, it's dynamic place. range if, if that makes sense I've done yeah. everything I can do on it where I can, there's always more I can do on a Strat because there's always more more from it I, I don't mm. know if I've explained that very well but they don't to me they sound weak a great Strat loud sounds weak when it's quiet yeah yeah it's, I guess so yeah that's a I you knew I never even I never even thought about that. Really? Never even thought about that. But I do know that when I play a strat, I I, I just by default it wants me to go for it. Yeah. It yeah, wants yeah. me. And, and and maybe that's why all those iconic strat sounds have that that specific kind of twang, that 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 little ooh in the yeah. beginning. Because um you have to hit it a certain way to get that yeah. that little get of that that beautiful spank it has, right? Yeah. But okay, so this is a little controversial, but I uh I would never buy a, a telly with cuts, but I don't like I'm, the tummy cut. I'm, I'm I actually I, I don't care about the tummy cut, yeah. but the forearm cut. Yeah, I like, and the reason why I, I, I and most of my tellies are so worn that you can tell they, they all kind of well. This is not mine, but I wear them down pretty good with my naturally. But when they're sharp, especially if it has binding on it, yeah, I have this way of the way. I guess yeah, it's the way. I, no, it's the way I play. Maybe it's like I hold it ah, like really low or whatever. But I what happens is I'm playing a show, right? Doing my thing. Oh wow, I'm, I'm great. And then I go for something and I hit my funny bone <gasps> on that corner, because right? Down. Because it's down because it's a sharp edge, and I hit my funny bone, and my hand just you know gets burny and like. Oh, and then I drop my pick and I pick it up and I try to play and I'm trying to play it again. I'm trying to play and I hit the funny bone again and it's like, oh my god and, and it's, it's it's like a vicious cycle. Once I do it once, I keep doing it. So yeah, yeah, yeah. tellies for it's it's like that hard edge. Maybe it's I'm holding it too low or something, but I always like maybe it happens yeah, once even... every how many shows. I'll I'll go I'll like hit that little sweet spot like right here. <laughs> oh guys. So you do the T Bone Walker thing, do you? He's like he's like out here with the guitar real yeah, flat uh, across the. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah, I don't know what it is, because oh, okay, usually it's at the the high intensity moment yeah, of, yeah. of whatever I'm doing. I'm playing, playing a show and I'm really in there. It, it it's like almost I, I know that the better the show is and the more energy the show is and if I'm the soul's really burning, I already know in the back of my head I'm gonna hit my phony bone. It's already kind of something I'm <laughs> more injuries. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> All right. Well, unfortunately we ran out of time, uh, but this oh, was fun. This was a blast. Oh, yeah, thank yeah. you so much. Do this more. I know. Well, I want I want to thank. Uh, Nick, for coming over to the page. Awesome, awesome. Thank you for inviting me. Always it's just such a pleasure to hang out with you. Always, oh, yeah. always, always. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, please, uh, thanks to all uh, the sponsors for TGU. Thanks to uh, the guys at Toman and the camera crew and the, the crew in the back that are doing the switching and everything. You guys are doing awesome. Uh, I guess that being said, we're signing off. I'll see you soon. Take care and goodbye. <laughs>